guys, this is Gator from Flipping Nuts. Today we're going to show you how to make your very own shepherd's hook. It's a lovely item. You use it in the gardens, you use it at weddings, wherever. You actually hang it either flowers off of here or something nice. So we're going to give you the full jig on how to build this product so you can actually start making it yourself and start selling it if you like. So I'm going to hand you over to the Zoan who's going to show you guys how to do it. Enjoy. It's the Zoan from Flipping Nuts. I'm just going to take you through the jig we made here. Then to bend your own shepherd's hook. Let me quickly show you here. First diameter you're gonna need is approximately, let's say 215. Just a round piece with a the stopper there. Give it a 12 mil gap here, so you can fit your round bar in. Then this side, you take your, I can show you here. It's a 55 piece of solid bar, just with the stopper. So, oops, in. then we have this that we bend our rod with. So let's show you how it works. So here, you can see here the inside diameter, we can show you here, it's 56, so it can fit over this 55 piece you have here. The outside's not going to matter that much. So you start off with a 3 meter piece of round bar, 12 mil thick, so let's show you how we bend it. Alright guys, put your 12 millimeter rod in here, just 13 millimeter gap, not too deep, not too shallow, otherwise you won't like it, and always remember your loop. Now we're going to cut it off at 2 meters. Then you mark it 200 from the bottom to put your L on. Just take a piece of 300, you bend it on 100, then you have 200 on this side and 100 on this side. There you have it guys, now you just wipe it down with some thinners and give it some black paint and you're good to go. For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And hit that bell notification to see for new videos that's coming out.